Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we're making this gorgeous Shea Whipped Citrus Body Butter. It is lovely and there's a couple things about this that I'm really excited about. So to back up a bit, the footwork for this uh, body butter was done as part of my Formula Botanica coursework. Uh, early on in the course they encourage you to get to know butters and oils and different blending techniques by mashing and melting and blending and stirring together different ratios of different butters and oils so you just kind of get a get a feel for everything. So I did a bunch of those and you've definitely seen at least one of those experiments uh, result in a recipe before. It was a eucalyptus mint foot butter uh, and so this one is a whipped one and it is really lovely and I made the first one on February 3rd and the consistency as you can see is still really whipped and marshmallowy and wonderful which I think is like fantastic obviously because when you make a whipped body butter you want it to stay whipped. So one of the things I'm really excited about with this body butter is that it is cold processed. So this is something that I learned from Formula Botanica, sort of the idea of cold mashing or cold blending and so this helps you know the shea butter won't go grainy if it's never been melted so awesome and also it's just so much faster right we're just creaming everything together like we're making um like cookies which is fantastic um and then sort of another thing there's none of the freeze whip freeze whip freeze whip cycle that you often do with whipped body butters but the consistency is still fantastic so it's just really really easy Something else awesome, uh, shea butter body butters are often really really greasy and quite sticky which is you know not always what you want and this one is it and that's because I've included some isopropyl myrosate which is a really lightweight ester which helps like not only reduce but like counter that that like that greasy feel. It's fantastic. Uh, really really highly recommended if you're not the kind of person who likes greasy uh, skin feels and it's really inexpensive readily available really really cool ingredient um, if you don't have it there's information on substitutions in the blog post linked in the description box below but if you don't like greasy stuff but you really like shea butter it's awesome and you should probably get some all right, well, I think you're gonna be delighted with how easy this is to make, especially in summer, you don't have to turn your stove on. So if you live somewhere warm, like I don't, uh, I, I hear that's a nice thing. <laughs> but anyways, let's go make some body butter. We'll begin by creaming 32 and a half grams of refined shea butter in a bowl, just like you would if you were creaming butter to make cookies. Make sure you scrape the bowl down fairly frequently as you beat to ensure that you're getting a nice even blend. Once you're not finding hard lumps in your shea butter anymore, we're ready for our next ingredient. So we're going to add five grams of isopropyl myristate, and we're going to blend that in as well. Up next, we're adding 11.8 grams of safflower oil. You can see really, really lovely texture. So now we're ready for our last few ingredients, our essential oils and our vitamin E. And so since we're measuring these out by weight and they're really small amounts, we're going to put them in this little dish here and use this more accurate scale. The weight of this bowl would uh, overshoot the maximum weight of this scale, which is, is just 200 grams. So we need 0 0.25 grams of vitamin E. And our essential oil blend is going to be a blend of lemon, orange, and grapefruit. Now lemon and grapefruit can be photosensitizing when used in high enough amounts, but this recipe uses them well below the uh, photosensitizing limit. So we're going to do 0.2 grams of lemon, 0.25 grams of orange, and 0.25 grams of pink grapefruit, and you could also use white uh, grapefruit. Now to incorporate that, I'm going to take some of our whipped body butter and stir it into the lovely blend in the dish and you'll get to see those colors of the essential oils really start to add a little bit of color to our concoction. And that's, that's pretty much it. Isn't that an amazing consistency? 
Um, so now we can just pop this in our container. So for a container, I'm using this paperboard container from Yellow Bee and the, the stuff that's already in there is just another batch of this recipe that I made to take pictures for the blog. Um, you usually have to make things twice, once for the blog and once for YouTube. So I end up with a lot, a lot of product. Um, we're just gonna sort of lightly spoon this in here. Kind of want to balance <laughs> balance between using you know the container as effectively as possible and not ending up you know with a bunch of air bubbles but also not wanting to crush the end product looks like i'm probably going to have enough left over for just like a little wee travel tin or something And there you go. You just made a gorgeous whipped shea butter citrus body butter. It's shockingly lightweight and smells amazing and retains this gorgeous, gorgeous texture really, really beautifully. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and do remember to go down to the description box and click through to this recipe on the blog where you'll find a lot more information on the ingredients, where to buy them, substitutions, how to scale the recipe, and all kinds of other good things. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.